I'm still here at Okapi's practice on a beautiful Thursday night after some rain. Juan Orfila, coach of U19s, and Trevor Thacker, captain of, of, of the team. Hi Trevor, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Let me tell us a little bit about your rugby history. How long have you been playing? Where have you played? Uh, I've been playing for seven years seven in years. all for Okapi here in Florida. All for Okapi? Yep, all here. So seven years in Okapi, that, that's, that's something remarkable because not many clubs can have players in high, you know, U19s with seven years of experience and that is something that I think is going to make a difference as, as the time goes by with this club that you have. You, you were telling me, Juan, t tell us a little bit about your tra trajectory here in the club. You've been coaching for a while also, right? Yeah, I've been coaching since uh, 2016 when I joined. I started with U10s. Then I moved to... How do you coach at U10? It's like... Having fun, <laughs> having fun. Teaching to pass the ball and having fun, that's it. <laughs> and be patient. <laughs> oh, a lot of patience. So, yeah, I started with U10, then moved to U12 with that same group. And then U15s with Trevor, we, we started in that one. And then I did uh, U16 last year and now head coach of U19. The U16s? Yeah. Legendary, that team? Good, good group, yeah. yeah you good, had a good team. You had a good time. <laughs> yeah, we had uh, a good time last year. Yeah. And so now you're with U19, and I was talking to the current coach of the U16s, and yep. it's interesting that you guys sort of why why would you do this like switch coaches? Yeah, coaches, it's a, coaches tend to be like you see a coach in one team and he's there forever. It's like always the same coach, never changes. In the same in the yeah, same it, age group, you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they no, I think the, what what we decided, I think it was like, a, it's like a natural thing. I've been working with Pablo Parada and Julio Bailac since we, since 2016 actually, so same group. And we started t coaching this group of players and I think naturally we start following them and working together. So I think we are really close as a group. We know them really well, they know our us and we've been evolving and we are evolving together yeah so uh, and it's working Trevor what, what would you say is the strength of your team this year oh uh, this year because uh, did you move from U16 no no I was on U19 last year still. So, so now you got all these like you got like eight players from U16 right yeah so most of the players that came up from U16 all did really really well last year and they're all strong players and they have good chemistry and a decent amount of us before had played with those U16 players before the age group switched two or yeah. three years ago mm -hmm. so Generally, we had all played together before, so I think that chemistry is going to be really important. Uh, what What is the team that you like to play the most? What do you mean? Here in Florida, which is your opponent that you like to oh. play the most? <laughs> that you look good, forward to question. that game, you know, like, oh, man, this is the game. I always like playing Kiwi Skin. Kiwi Skin's always fun. It is. Just because they have a really good style of rugby, a lot of kicking. It's really good. Uh, last, last year, you guys were, you know, it, it was a little bit of a weird year on, in, in the sense of how it was played, but you guys were one of the teams that could have been in the final. You just didn't make it. Yeah. Uh, what are your plans for this year? So To beat everybody? The plan is to be champions this year. Okay. That's that's the goal, because I think we have the group to, to make it happen. We talk at the club level all the time that it's the, it's the state championship that we... Just, that we need, we desire, right? And we never have. Exactly. So, so the, that's the goal. That's why we started first of October training, really solid structure of training, preparing a, a good precision in terms of conditioning. So, working really hard on that. We have, I think, in U19, we have 39 players registered. So it's that. Nice it, it's giving us a lot of options, as as Trevor was saying. I think the. The forwards that came that are coming up from U16 are extremely strong. They can not only strong but also they play well, they, right? They know they, the game. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So expectations are really high for this season. Is it something that you sort of when you start the season you you start with that goal very clearly and you keep it throughout the season? Like you know, the first conversation we have with the team was that one. Because and I, you may agree with me that many times in the rug, on the rugby field, and, and you should know this because you do it, there's a mental component that is so important that sometimes makes up... I remember that game last year, remember when you beat Kibis Kane like in the last play, yeah. I think? 
and you were trailing them all because all, they had a pretty good team and they were playing very well yeah. and you guys managed to pull that one off but you know it just reminded me of those games like with the All Blacks when they're losing and there's two minutes left and, and somehow I think that was a mental component that is so important and, and it's something that you have to work on it, right? And we are working really hard on that. I think we set up those goals at the beginning of the season. So the first, I think, first training we had all the players, that was the first discussion. So what's the goal for this season? It's to be state champions. And for that, we know it's not only training, it's not only conditioning, but it's mindset. We need to have the mindset. I know also in your club philosophy, because I've talked a lot with some of you know your, your officers and people, it's, it's not the winning you know, it's winning because you deserve it, right? Mm -hmm. Because you you work for it. It's yeah. not it's it's not just the winning by itself. Mm -hmm. You want to win, but but because you you play good enough. Exactly. Yeah. So listen, uh, are you the kicker for the team or one of them? No. No. I have to say, as I said to the other coach, man, you have some awesome kickers. Yeah, we made. I think it was 100% accuracy. 100%. Yeah. Six, 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 six and six. I um, mean, three and three. Two different kickers. Yeah. And you know, I think that I, I'm, I'm a sort of a, a, I, I, I love kicking in general, so <laughs> I, I really enjoy that. And it is something that you know, you, six six conversion that's 12 points that yeah. other clubs don't have. And and when a game comes, you know, to the wire, you you have a penalty. It's part of the things you need, Charlie, to win, right? Absolutely. And so uh, we are we are working on that. We have special sessions. Man, about I, kicking, I enjoy so, yeah. I enjoy those kickers you guys have, and I envy you. Okay. So good. listen, I'm not gonna take any more of your time because I know you're you're training. Appreciate your Thank you. your time. Uh, we will be following you. Thank you, Charlie. We'll have you on the Appreciate podcast when, when we resume in during the season. Okay. Alrighty. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Bye bye.